A major step on the path to peace for the Democratic Republic of Congo. Within the three documents signed, provisions for the disarmament and dissolution of M23 as an armed group. Under the deal, it's set to transform itself into a legitimate political party. Also, an agreement to renounce violence and rebellion. In return, the government says it will release and give amnesty to M23 members in detention for acts of war and rebellion. However, Congolese government spokesman Lambert Mende reiterated that those accused of criminal behavior under international law, war crimes or crimes against humanity would not be reinserted into society. The signing of this agreement is, is groundbreaking and resounding as it represents another chapter in terms of how the Congolese government and the M23 should engage with one another in an amicable and peaceful atmosphere so that the humanitarian security situation in the Eastern DRC is permanently resolved. The M23 took up arms in Eastern DR Congo in April 2012, accusing the government of marginalizing the ethnic Tutsi minority and failing to honor previous agreements. Mediating between the two, Uganda's president was adamant that coming to the negotiating table was the only way for the group to have their demands heard. That's what I, I told the, the, these M23 people. If there is war, all the problems you are talking about will not even be addressed. But now that there is peace, it is high time to address the ideological issues and also the development issues. It's hoped the deal will allow the more than two million displaced people to begin returning home. International partners, including the United Nations and African Union, have been called upon to lend support and resources to the Congolese government as it begins the lengthy process of meeting out justice and encouraging national reconciliation. Clementine Logan, CCTV.